Ah, home sweet motorhome. And now we go into the woods. Going out there. Out about that way, I think. So let's go. Come on, Bubba. Trusty dog with us. Go see what the site looks like. And maybe start building some walls. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I'm excited. It's kind of chilly out today. Oh, cool, I should say. Not chilly. But it's supposed to drop below freezing tonight. So that'll be fun. We don't. Well, it's just me walking through the woods, so. I'll come back when I get to the site. Have a look at what I found. A safedor. See, look. A fedor. That's the door the fairies used to go between worlds. It's not like Tinkerbell. These ones mean business. Look. Bones. Be careful out in those woods. You don't know what might be lurking out there. I'm hearing voices. And this time it's not my own. I don't think. Alright, let's get back to it. <laughs> a little bit of a confession. Uh, I seem to have lost my shelter site. <laughs> uh, so I, mean, I, I know the general direction, but that's about it. And uh, everything out here looks familiar, but nothing looks familiar. So just kind of backtracking and going back towards the house and then I should be able to find some landmarks there's a couple of it's a couple of uh, washes that I've been calling them to go down to a holler that's that way huh. oh well Look at my view. I mean, even if I don't find my shoulder side again today, you know what? I'm okay with that. A hike through the woods? I mean, <laughs> I, I, you, can't, you can't beat this. I'll take this any day. Take it every day and twice on Sunday. Twice on Saturday. I wouldn't be doing much on Sunday. That's the Lord's Day. I would say I'm good and lost, but never really truly lost. Oh, I wouldn't say that. If I can hear traffic, then I'm not in any immediate danger of being lost. And I know generally the area which I'm going, so... Huh. Man, these woods are beautiful. And it's middle of October and leaves are starting to fall and the colors are changing. Man alive. Man alive. Hmm. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. <laughs> yeah, buddy. And I just found a burl. 
on a dead tree. So I think I'm going to cut that off and take it home with me. Yeah. That's mine now. <laughs> All right, I found it. It's one I put up the other day when I was out here. Kept looking for a bright green rope. This whole forest is bright green. <laughs> but so I got lost. I mean, I went on an adventure and I somehow was quite a ways that way. That would be north. North, yeah, I had to get my bearings. That would be north. And I wanted to come west. And uh, yeah, so I might have to put a Hansel and Gretel style cookie trail. I might start walking out of here. Except instead of cookies, there'll be bright green pieces of string. I, mean, I like the idea of having a fort that nobody can find, but when I can't find it, that's kind of the problem. <laughs> All right. Well, in my adventures, I discovered there is no lack of building materials. So, and, and I'll show you something. So my trench, can you see it? Where is it? Right here. So my trench that I dug. Uh, seems to have done its job. You can kind of see that a bunch of the rocks are washed off. So I think that that did the trick. I think. Another thing on my adventures, what I found, uh, not the axe. The axe I brought with me, but this old metal, looks like a drawer to a refrigerator, it's out in the woods. It's turned upside down like that. Stuck out like a sore thumb. It's got a little hole in the corner. Cool though, that's that's neat. I have to think of a dozen applications where that would come in handy. A little heater or stove or I don't know. We'll figure it out. Okay, I guess I'll start doing what I came out here to do and start making something that kind of resembles a fort. Alright, let's do it. Alright, finally got the camera set up. It's a little warm. Use my caveman air conditioning to cool off a little bit. Ah, that's nice. Cool off the beard. Beard's kind of hot. Better. I'm going to go grab building materials. Far so good. Probably gotta take off the long sleeve though. Maybe even the hat. <laughs> it's kind of hard for a fat kid. Not gonna lie. Sure is fun though. <laughs> Let 
rewarding as it may be to the viewer it's rather slow so how about I bring you back when I made some progress hey remember to look at the camera not the screen I look all cockeyed if I don't or if I do I don't know Getting there. I could probably tell that I don't actually work for a living. Forging, forging knives is not not this labor intensive. Whew. Okay, sometimes it is depending on the size of your steel. And I don't have a power hammer, but I'm doing this at this level, not swinging wildly like I'm trying to cut off a giant's head. I'm gonna thing. Got it done. Last time, sit down and drink water. Cut down a problem three. Now with this big log, a couple of rocks, I've got a gym. Who needs a gym? Not me. that heavy log. Sorry, far away. I dropped that heavy log and broke my retaining wall. <laughs> if you have a log, who needs small sticks? Oh well, let's look at what I accomplished for today. Cut down that big problem tree and used bulk of it for I guess we're calling it retaining wall there I got the start of something resembling some sort of wall or something there and I'm plum tuckered out Whew. yeah about whooped. It's beautiful out here though. You hear the wind going through the trees. No, I didn't get much accomplished. I really enjoyed myself. It's been a good day. Despite minor setbacks. 
of adventuring. <laughs> I don't know if I'll call this part two or or what, but day two of the fort, the fort build. It's beautiful. Out here. Put my saw away. Signing off. Y'all have a blessed day. I got my neck knife and my axe. I'm tired. There's a little trail. Markers if I can follow so I don't adventure again. <laughs> All right. Thanks for coming along with me. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye bye.